Well, hi there, everyone. Welcome to another Cardwell's Cauldrons here at Geektopia Island. I'm Cardwell. And I'm Kevin. And today, we have a very, very simple fun deck for you for Standard today. But before we do, we want to remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us, and we'd love you very much for it. And the link will be down below. Today, we are going around the circle of a goblin campfire. It's literally just mono red burn with goblins in there to help start the fire. It's simple as that. It's gonna be awesome. It's got goblins in it. Yeah, it's just goblins. Yeah, and we're burning the world. So of course the first uh, set, the first spark is goblin arsonist. So one drop, one one. Whenever it dies, you deal one damage to any target. Yeah, to any target, pretty yeah. much. It's dude's really good for a one drop because he can kill most two like two twos or whatever. Yeah. Or he can just be like, hey, take extra damage. I don't care. Take it. Next up is the Ember Hauler. He's two red for a 2-2, two -two, and he pays one. You can sacrifice him, deal two damage to target creature or player. Yep. So yeah. he also helps just ping things off. Straight up. Uh, mostly, hopefully, just going to the face. Yeah. Uh, now, of <laughs> course, we have Bone Crusher Giant, because he's a burn spell with a dude, so it's good. It's a three drop, but he has Stomp, which is the Venture side. It's one in a red instant. Deal uh, two damage to any target, and this damage cannot be prevented this turn. And then, his side, he's a 4-3. Whenever he becomes a target of spell, uh, he deals two damage to that speller's controller. Simple as that. Yeah, so he gets to shoot for two with the stomp ability, and then you play in the next turn and be like, hey, cool, what are you gonna do? Yeah. I'm gonna kill you now with the big giant. Oh, yeah. Next up is the Legion War Boss. He has not seen play for a minute. Yep. But he's, but he's here. He's good. Uh, red and two for a 2 2 with Menace, or with Mentor. Uh, whenever this creature attacks, put a 1 1 counter on target attacking creature with lesser power. And then at the beginning of your combat on your turn, create a 1-1 one, one goblin token, that token gains haste, and until the end of the turn, it attacks this combat if able. So when he attacks, he makes a free dude, and then he can pump that dude up, or pump another dude up yeah. as he attacks. And then that's the best thing, in turn three, just place him down, you have a, a one swing, a raging goblin basically mm -hmm. swinging. Now, that's it, we'll go to the spells of course, and we have good old classic shot. It's old reliable, it's one red, two damage to any target. Yeah, simple just, as that. Just burn your face. Next is Weaponize the Monsters. It is a red for an enchantment. You pay two, sacrifice a creature, deals two damage to any target. So after your little dude's done its, done its damage to them, you're just like, cool, throw this dude at you. Yeah. And when Legion, Legion Warbosh, it's like a two <laughs> mana shock every every time. And the next one is Chandra's Regulator. With mono red, you need something to draw. So we thought we'd do this as one in a red. Legendary Artifact. Whenever you activate a little ability of Chandra Planeswalker, you may pay one. If you do copy that ability, you may choose new targets for that ability. Copy, which we do have. And you pay one, tap, discard a mountain card or a red card, draw a card. So you, this is this is a way to get rid of your lands, for yeah. sure. Uh, next is Electro Dominance. It is two red and X. It's an instant. It deals X damage to target to any target. You may cast a card with a mana cost X or less from your hand without paying its cost. This card is insane. Yep. It, it, it's super strong just because you're like, cool, that thing takes four, I'm going to put a four drop in play because yeah. I can. Simple as that. It's, it's so good. In fact, that's instant speed. It's ridiculous. Now, here comes the sacrifice part. It's heart fire. One in a red instant. Uh, as additional cost, cast a spell, sacrifice a creature or planeswalker. Deals four damage to any target for two. And hopefully you'll definitely have enough things to Pretty sacrifice. Pretty good lightning strike. Oh, yeah. Uh, next up is Chandra, the Acolyte of Flame. She is two red and one for a four loyalty walker. Uh, you zero, you put a loyalty counter for each play, red planeswalker you control. Mm -hmm. Zero, you create two 1-1 one, one red elemental tokens. They gain haste, sacrifice them at the beginning of the next end step. Or minus two, you can cast target instant or sorcery if your man costs three or less from your graveyard. If that card will be put into the graveyard this turn, exile it instead. Yep. So mostly you're just going to be like, pay zero or put zero loyalty, get some dudes, attack with them, and then throw them at the opponent. Yeah, and just start sacrificing them for sure. And the next one is Fatal End. It's just a three drop instant, uh, deals three damage to any target, scry one. You kind of just need as many burn spells as possible. Yeah, we're trying to kill you by not attacking, so uh, we're just gonna throw a face. Exactly. Uh, next is Skewer the Critics. It is the same thing, it is three for deal three damage to any target, but it does have spectacle, so if they've been dealt damage, you can pay this for one red instead. So essentially it turns into a lightning bolt that all you're gonna do is deal one damage. Yeah, and the fact that if you're not dealing damage every turn, then something's wrong. Yeah. Slaying Fire, it's two in a red instant, deals three damage to any target, but it has Adamant, which if you at least spend three red mana uh, to cast this, it deals four damage instead. So it's a char with no negative effects. And you're always going to have three red mana because you're mm -hmm. playing mono red. So done. Next is Chandra the Fire Artisan. She is two red and two for a four loyalty walker. 
Whenever one or more loyalty counters are removed from her, she deals that much damage to your target opponent or planeswalker. Plus one, exile the top card of your library, you may play this turn. Minus seven, exile the top seven of your library, you may play them this turn. Mm -hmm. So, you just want to keep doing the top to get up there, but if she gets dealt damage, you get to shoot for whatever, which yeah, is pretty whatever. cool. Yeah, and the fact that her minus seven deals seven damage, plus she can finish them off with all the burn spells that you draw. So it's really good that way. And of course, with the other Chandra, you pay zero to up the loyalty of her and this one. So if you have this one at six, you play the other Chandra, pay zero to up it to seven, then you minus seven to just deal seven damage. As quickly as possible. And no one wants to attack her. That's the fun thing about it. Yeah. I played against like a mono green Stompy and then a uh, Esper control deck and with that card and it just won the game instantly. But with that, that is it. Uh, that With the lands, we have 22 lands. And the only special ones I have is a Castle of Embreath. So it enters the battlefield tapped unless you control a mountain, which hopefully you will. And then of course you pay one, two red, tap. Creatures you control get plus one until end of turn. Simple, hopefully you swarm the board, swing in, burn the face, and just get it over with. Yeah. Like that. And we only have one honorable, honorable mentions. Now, of course, we don't really do sideboards anymore, but with this, uh, this is definitely a good one. It's Storm's Wrath. It's two and two red. Sorcery does four damage to each creature and each planeswalker. So hopefully, if they're out racing you, for sure, if you're if they're on the play, then you just cast this and get it over with. Yeah, it's essentially your Wrath of God. It's going to kill most things, but... Yeah. Like, if they're playing a big dude, you're already kind of losing. Just saying. Exactly. But it is what it is. It's super strong. Especially Questing Beasts if you play green and all that. Yeah. And if you need to wipe the board and deal four damage to your opponent, if you have the other Chandra, then this does it too, because it deals four damage. So, fun it's stuff. good. But with that, hopefully uh, the deck list will be down below, and hopefully you enjoyed your stay here at Geektopia Island. You have a good day. Bye. Later! Also guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Uh, thank you, Dwayne Higgs. And thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.